part of our uh, fender system. We've got uh, five Yokohama fenders there. That's one of our stern anchors, got four of those out. Landing on the back there, we bring uh, people in for transfer. Uh, bolt bay right, which they make the mud out of. Uh, for drilling operation, uh, it's uh, cut from one and a half ton bags into the silos down below. Uh, as part of the job here, we cut bags cement as well to the silos down below. Bayride is what they mix the mud out of. Add a lot of other chemicals to it as well. Uh, this is not done every week, the rig might require um, 100 tonne, so we pump it over maybe once a week we do this. Megawaddy comes down, picks up another bag, takes it over to the hopper, cuts it in. These are all, as I say, 1.5 one, one tonne. Mud mixing pits, um, that's a centrifuge up there. That uh, cleans the mud, they run it through that, and it centrifuges all the impurities out of the mud. Um, these tanks are quite deep, they probably hold, uh, uh, what do they hold, four or five hundred tonne of mud. They're quite full at the moment, we're quite full of everything here. These are agitators and pumps and all sorts of things to circulate it to keep it. Uh, Keep it stirred up so all the hard stuff doesn't sink to the bottom. These are the uh, tanks that the guys are uh, cutting to. Six of them, we have three, three that uh, we cut bay right into, three that we cut cement into. down here but that's the boys up top are cutting into them and then we store it here and pump it over to the to the uh, boat. A little bit more of the tanks just so see the size of them there they're quite big tanks. Nice tank again uh, we made up another back last night as it's agitating it up there just uh, shot from the main deck up to the second deck there the, uh, the FRC there. Up on the alley deck, some of our com communication systems. That's our system for email, uh, telephones, uh, linked straight to Singapore, uh, one TV, uh, another satellite dish for communications. go around into the sun, all the radio aerials, right the way around, one crane there, moving casing from down aft to forward on the pipe deck, one crew boat coming in there with crew from one of the rigs, and uh, one supply boat out there heading our way. This is just some of the drilling equipment, testing equipment. Once they've drilled the hole they've got to test it. Find out how much uh, gas is there. Part of the test package there. Um, then we have the pipe deck up there with enough uh, tubulars to drill four holes or around the three to four thousand meter depth.
snow from from uh, rig to rig. You can see the bow thrusters working there. She just turns herself sideways and off she pops and uh, we'll get the next one in and get her loaded up as well. Jaya Supporter again has been loaded up. Uh, 250 tonne of drill water we've just put on her and 150 tonne of uh, diesel fuel and that's about it. She's off to the rig now to uh, to send that up to the rig. There you can hear the bow thrusters going there. She'll just start pulling out now. Off out sideways, spin around and I'll still pop. As I say, very easy to drive these. You don't know what you're doing, of course, but all computer controlled. Bow thruster going there. Down the stern there, you have the thrusters and the engines ahead and the stern, every which way, and turn these things on a bloody sixpence. This is the uh, vessel D Trader, just arrived from Singapore. We've got a load of uh, chemicals and a lot of bagged equipment there, which we're uh, don't really need at the moment. It's been pretty uh, tight for room. Uh, more bag bay right coming on, and then just keep loading, loading, loading. And don't have the space. Uh, here comes the company man. He's come to become part of the movie here. Hey Jack, how you going? Good mate, good. good. Good on you, that's it. How you going in there, sports? They're giving you the shits again? Good thing you got me with you. For <laughs> company. Uh, yeah. Keeping you happy on board. Yeah. Good on you, Jack. Here today. Um, a little bit more of loading the casing onto the so-called Big Orange. We've got casing deck, a lot of tools up there. A lot of casing. They put down the hole, they drill the hole, same as a water hole, water bore, and they put a casing down, but in this type of application, it's steel casing. Yeah, it'll go down sometimes two, three, four, five thousand metres. That's five kilometres. As I say, this is a specially designed vessel for carting uh, drill pipe and casing. Very, very beamy. Doesn't have any winches or anything for anchor handling. He's just up from Singapore. And we're just loading a bit more on it to take over to the rig. Uh, it's getting ready to go over to the rig. the vessel uh, Fortune 3 alongside. The uh, Manitoba crane, she's uh, 80 foot boom and uh, she's load tested to about 36 tonne I think. Uh, she, she is capable of 70 with a smaller boom and a uh, six part line. Enough casing up there at the moment for, we've got some coming from Singapore, there's enough up there for three holes. These holes they're drilling anywhere between three and four thousand metres deep, that's three to four k's. 
kilometres deep. Uh, that's the depth of the holes they're, they're drilling at the moment. Drilling tide, coming in through both. Got, I think, 13, uh, 13 personnel, testing personnel from the rig. They'll be coming in to accommodate them. They'll be here checking their tools, servicing their tools, and the helicopter will come and take them to shore in a couple of days' time. These things have generally got four engines, and actually is about two and a half thousand horsepower. This job, you'll get along a bit. Got the design to do. Move along 20 knots, get personnel from one place to the other. This is transferring the people, that's a personnel basket there, what they call a Billy Pew. Four man personnel transfer. Got to put a life jacket on just to come over, over the gunnels there. It's, uh, it's the way they generally do it in the oil field. Arriving at the right time, lunchtime here, so they generally do that. In the laundry, right up before part of the vessel. There's the laundry boy, getting everything ready. Some big machines here. Big dryers, we've just put uh, two new machines in here. So that's the, uh, the laundry. Uh, one of the crews ablutions there. Their squat toilets, the Asians. Then we have this section here, crew's rec room, smoking room, rec room, there's one of the service personnel hard at work here. Okay. The starboard side of the ship, the lower deck, uh, there's 17 cabins down here. Four berth cabins, there's two six berth, but they're mostly four berth cabins, as I say, 17, 17 uh, cabins down here. There's one of our dry stores, we've got enough stores on here for six months. This is the upper dry store, and they have the lower one downstairs. Here's my little mate, Norriman. Yeah. How you going, alright? <laughs> Good? What are you doing? Yeah. Just cleaning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, good man. The lower dry store just down below of the freezers and etc. And not a great deal down here. We try and keep uh, most of the food upstairs. Um, a lot of storage down here. Yeah, most of the cleaning equipment, toilet paper all that sort of things held down here. This is the one of the main freezers. Uh, plenty of goodies in here. This is the cool room with all the veggies in it. Spagoni the cook, there's another freezer up there and a dairy room. The dairy room, that's, that's the fish room there, the fish in there. And we have uh, in here, which was the dairy room, it's not running now. That's uh, 
rice there, of course. Naturally, being in Asia, we've got to have plenty of that. There's your mate, Chandra. Hey, Chandra, how are you going? Okay? Good. The fish uh, washing department there. Got a dumb way that goes up to the two decks up, up the river. Bay Marie, where they got their boat, spaghetti. Bloody rice cooker. And we have the two deep fries and the two ranges there. Around microwave up there. That gizmo here, that's the food muncher. You don't put your hand in there to munch that up. It all munch up to very, very small particles. Up overboard. Hey Tony, how are you going? Okay? okay. Everything's okay? Good man. Everything's stainless steel in here, even the, the roof up there, everything's stainless steel. We go around here, this is the bakery, bridges, bakery, there's the baker making some bread there. I mean, it looks like you're making garlic bread. Yeah. How you going, Cookie? Okay? Yeah, Speed up to about 40 to 50 people here, one city. Coffee machine, ice cream machine, hot water, all the condiments usually over there. Ice machine, fridge, through to the galley. So the boys are just cleaned up. Now the galley floor is all being washed. We're going up to the second deck. Up here we have, uh, what have we got? 13 cabins and the hospital. These are all four berth cabins. One of the cabins here. Four berth, these all have their own shower and toilets. Hospital here, dormitory. Got a debt doctor or medic on board. Medical locker there, it's usually full of all sorts of goods. We've got a good selection of uh, medical equipment on board, medical supplies. And we go up to the third deck, and up here there's two two man cabins up here, uh, recreation rooms. This is a helicopter briefing room, TV room, etc. This is where the uh, service people have a little bit of relaxation. Big screen TV there for overhead projection. We just have the TV. They do a safety briefing here for the helicopter. Every time the chopper moves, they have to do a briefing. Just a safety briefing. So that's the upstairs rec room for service personnel. This is the company man's office. Um, that's part of our telephone system there. All set up to GPSs and etc. etc. So that there's the company man's office. We're all working for at the moment. It's day. We come across the other side. 
superintendent's rec room in here. This is where all our TV systems are, for the satellite are all plugged in and interconnected here. For the radio room. Where all the communications for the radio room is. Fax machines and radios. Uh, all sorts of uh, equipment for helicopter safety. Then we have Mong. How are you going, Mong? Hello. Okay. okay. Oh, I'm fine, fine mate. Yeah. Yourself? No, oh, I didn't talk about fine. Mong is my walking partner. He comes up and walks around the heli deck with me. So we have all the bedding particulars here of who's, which cabin, where they are, all the supply vessels, where they are, where they're positioned, telephones, faxes, computers, and Mong, of course. And in my office, a T-card system there, we know who's on board, where they are, spare helmets, blah, blah, blah. Down here we have a bond store there, into uh, Arch Master's office here. Just a few little nibblies up there, oops, that hand doesn't see that. Coffee and tea, computer, telephone system, radios. My little bloody six sense of humour. Pin up board, some of the jobs we've done. There's your little mate. There you go, buddy. Your little pal. A few uh, awards we've got from different uh, oil companies right across the way is my Hacienda cabin. Bunk over there. Two bunks in here, one for Rod, one for me. My own TV, so I've been here long enough to deserve that, I think. My own shower and toilet, of course. The, the top deck there, up to the heli deck. We do a walk around uh, up to the bow there, some of our communication equipment, uh, satellite dishes, uh, TV communications, internet, all that sort of stuff that's uh, humpty dumpty there. It's got a big dish in it. But, uh, that's our main communication one to Singapore straight through to Singapore with the telephone, bow, ship's anchor up there, ship's anchor which not anchor, that's uh, the TV, the antenna that one, and we uh, come around the bow here and we have the coffee shop around here, the boys all have their morning and afternoon break here, have lunch in the galley but uh, Coffee breaks are uh, usually out here. It's the uh, barbecue, piece of 20 inch casing. Just a good area just to sit around and, and have a bit of a break. Coffee and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, that's the coffee deck.
filtration unit there, taking water. They make about 20 tonnes a day potable water. This unit here is a uh, RO unit, reverse osmosis. It's capable of uh, producing nearly 100 tonnes up in the air doing nothing but this is uh, Gabby's hacienda here all the all the uh, manuals for all the bibs and bobs and buddy invoicing his little hideaway in here uh, you look pretty sophisticated with your new glasses there Gabby how's it all going ah, good good yeah, yeah. and you got back yesterday didn't you after yeah. holidays <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's Gabby's little hacienda here. He does all the stores and ordering, etc., etc. Then we'll come out here and we'll, uh, we'll have a look in his little, we'll have a look in his little cages. Well, we're going to open this one. Here we have parts and nuts and bolts factory in here. All the welding equipment, welding rods, and all sorts of fittings in here, pipe fittings. This 
vessel used to be a drill ship, so we have a lot of spare parts on here. We used to have spare parts for spare parts, but uh, a lot of it has seen been sent off for junk or sent to Singapore. parts again but, uh, this down here this area is just spare parts for spare parts for spare parts a lot of it is uh, well it's still used uh, especially the water making side of things um, bearings all sorts of bearings here for all the different uh, bits of machinery on the vessel no go here Working hard as usual. You working hard there, Joko? No. Huh? You're yeah. a little bit shy. Huh? I'm getting fat. Yeah, <laughs> you're getting fat. Uh, tell your wife, huh? <laughs> Thanks, Joko. A bit of the aft deck here, one of the forklifts. Max getting some uh, chemicals ready to ship across. Come down aft. So the vessel here, we have uh, storerooms down here, deck store here. More chemicals down here, we have, uh, these are all explosive uh, magazines kept down the aft end of the vessel here. Uh, they usually have a uh, radiation unit down here as well the rig in the background over there. We hold a pretty uh, big range of paint here, so this is the paint locker. Uh, big ship of course, so you have a lot of paint. Keep up the stocks, keep the vessel looking uh, neat and tidy. Everything is usually blasted grit blast, sand blast before we paint it, so um, try and keep it look nice and pretty. But anyway, that's the paint block. This is the uh, emergency generator room. Small lister there for uh, cranking up the air in case we run out of air. Everything's air start. Uh, this is the CAT 353 uh, emergency generator. It's uh, water cooled. Uh, we've got the two big ones down the road, the two three nine eights, and then we have this one here. As I say, she's a spare. We run it up every Sunday, make sure it's uh, running condition. The oxygen acetylene store, Freon. You do usually come away with uh, 80 oxygen. 40 acetylene, uh, so that's the Oxyacetylene acetylene store and gas bottles and uh, Freon store. Fire store and steel, shackles, uh, down there's all spare wires for the cranes, steel, uh, you know, for general maintenance around the ship. Shackles, that's a 90, sorry, that's an 85 ton shackle there. They're quite uh, big shackles. I say spare wires for all the crane booms, boom hoist, single lift, etc. etc. So that's the. Uh, going down to the aft anchor room, we have a four anchor room and uh, aft room. These are uh, national winches, uh, two and a quarter inch wire on there. Uh, we've only got four anchor system out so that's uh, only two of them there. Out with about 2,000 to 2,500, no about 2,500 of uh, wire, 2,500 feet of wire. A rope store here for our tying up ropes. Um, there you can see the size of the wire. Uh, 
as I say, we have the uh, same up forward, forward anchor room, aft. There's the controls for that. These are the aft, the aft uh, fair leads. Um, as I say, we only have a four point mooring, one on each corner of the vessel. There's uh, two and a half thousand foot of wire out there onto a 10 ton anchor. And on the front of that, there's another 300 foot with another 10 ton anchor, which is called a piggyback. So we have a four point mooring system on each corner of the vessel. Uh, Eight anchors out all together. Boys, after tea, deciding to do a bit of fishing. <laughs> How many you got this time, Skander? Six. Six. Oh, six. Very good. Uh, very good. Six, six, yeah, six. Hey, you're missing one. Two. Should have eight, like last time. Uh, the boys doing a bit of fishing again. That was a good haul. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. about a dozen in one buddy hit there. Fuel barge uh, CP32, she's up from Singapore, uh, she bought in uh, 2,500 tonne of high speed diesel fuel, take us probably, uh, we're putting on 100 tonne an hour so uh, it's a good 24 hours plus and, and all the paperwork. Uh, so that's just giving us a little bit of a top up there. Rig Nanhai 2 started flaring. They're testing the uh, amount of gas. You can hear the roar coming out of the uh, the flare there. Um, they've got two gas zones down there. They've got a test. This is the uh, first one. Again, getting a little bit darker now, but uh, still hear the roar there, as I say we're about a mile away. We'll uh, really pumping some gas out of there. There we are again, a little bit uh, later. I don't know how we go here focusing, but still hear the noise there.
Fielding second. Just outside the Fitway uh, Airport, little shops there or whatever you like to call them, sit out and have some coffee and cold drink I suppose. flag at the downtown Sipway. Okay. We're readying the sockets. Then we, we mix up the socket fast and Ten ton 
underneath these anchors. Well, the boys are getting the pennant wires ready, re-socketing, putting sockets on them. Out of the sun a bit. How you going there, Swandy? Yeah, yeah. Okay? Okay, yeah. Uh, Max and the crew, we're making new pennant wires for the uh, new job. This is all uh, two and a quarter inch wire. This depth of water we're going to is 50 metres, so these wires will be made uh, 65 metres. We have to uh, cut them, re cut them, and they have a socket on the end, and uh, we re bore the sockets to get out of the way here. Hey Max, how you going? Good. What are you doing? Good. What are you doing? Oh, fix the wire. Make the wire? Yeah. Cutting the wire to length for yeah. a new project, huh? Yeah. And then we, we uh, re-pour the sockets? Yeah. Start tonight. Start tonight. Okay. Thanks Max.